As the new school year gears up to begin, we wanted to share some helpful tips and tricks for teachers who'll be presenting their classrooms online through Microsoft Teams for Education. Before you set up your classroom, sit back and think about the flow of your virtual classroom to determine how you want to set up the channels and tabs. As a reminder, channels help to organize the classroom workspace, while tabs help to organize content within the channels. Each classroom and teacher is unique, so we recommend taking a moment to consider the following. What grade level will you be teaching? What types of lessons do you have planned? What does your curriculum look like? And what are your specific classroom needs? You can set up your channels by subject, by week of study, by individual projects, or by strand. It's important to remember, when you set up channels, you can host your virtual classroom within these channels. This means all classroom content can be kept together. If you record a classroom session or share the content that was presented from that classroom, it becomes easier for the student to find the content they need when they need it. All typed conversations from the virtual classroom will stay together in one location on this channel. The general channel in a classroom workspace in Teams provides some very unique tools to help you manage your classroom. One of the tools is the Class Materials folder that is automatically created within the Files tab. This is a read-only folder in which a teacher can add important documents for their students to access. Every document placed in this folder can be accessed and downloaded by your students, but it cannot be altered or modified. If a student downloads a copy, they can modify and update their copy and it will not impact the original item in the class materials folder. The original document will remain untouched. The Class Notebook is an infinite electronic OneNote notebook built right into your virtual classroom. You can customize the setup by adding specific sections when you create your classroom and enable the Class Notebook. Each Class Notebook comes preloaded with a collaboration space for a shared note-taking experience. The pages of this section group can be accessed and updated by all the students in the class. When you select the Note tab in a channel, a new section will be created within the collaboration space and named after that channel. The Content Library section group is also automatically created in the class notebook. This is a read-only section that you can add content to, which your students can access and review, but cannot modify or edit. If the student must update this page, they are able to copy and paste this page into their own personal student section group. The student section group is a private note-taking space that the student shares with you, the teacher. No other student can access this private note-taking space. The student can use this section to complete schoolwork items, take classroom notes, or complete assignment work. As the teacher, you can collaborate with this student in their notebook. You are also able to share a link and provide a student's parent or guardian access to the student section group. When you enable the class notebook, you can customize the preloaded sections that students can access from their student section group based on the course outline, the curriculum, or planned learning activities for the semester or year. The teacher only section can be enabled for yourself. This is a private section specifically for you. This will remain private unless you choose to share it with a colleague or a supply teacher. The teacher only section is ideal for making behavioral observations, lesson planning, or creating coursework. 
Pages that you have created in the teacher only section can easily be distributed right into the student section group for the students to access. When you set up your virtual classroom, it's important to make sure that the student's permission is set to attendee to ensure that they cannot mute or lower their classmates' hands. With the classroom set up, navigate to the classroom placeholder and select Meeting Options. Use the Who Can Present drop-down and select Only Me. If there is an instance when the student needs to present a project to the class, you can change this permission while in the virtual classroom. Select the Participants pane and use the ellipsis beside the student's name. You can grant presenter permission from here. When the student has completed their presentation, you can remove presenter permissions by using the ellipsis again. You can access meeting options from within the classroom as well by navigating to the participant icon and open the participant pane. Select the ellipsis at the top of the pane and choose Manage Permissions. If you'd like, you can choose to keep the students in the virtual lobby until you're present in the virtual classroom space or until you're ready to begin class. This can help minimize student interaction without teacher supervision prior to the class beginning. We will navigate back to our meeting options and use this drop-down beside who can bypass the lobby. Select only you, which means you will go into the virtual classroom directly. However, after selecting join now, the students will wait in the virtual lobby until you're ready to admit them into the virtual classroom. While presenting content in the classroom, you don't always have to be on video chat. Use the share icon to access different share options available. You can create a PowerPoint or Sway presentation, which you can present in the virtual classroom. These items can be shared to the class through the conversation pane or as an attachment after class is concluded. If your presentation includes video or other content that requires sound, ensure you select this toggle before sharing your item. This allows students to hear the audio being played off of your computer. If you've chosen to share a PowerPoint presentation, private viewing is enabled. This means a student can move forward or back in the presentation without disrupting what others in the classroom are seeing. This is helpful if a student needs to copy additional information off of a previous slide. As the teacher, you have the ability to disable private viewing by selecting this icon here. Another great tool is the whiteboard, which allows you to pull up a virtual whiteboard to draw out content just as you would in a live classroom. Students can also add content to your whiteboard. These whiteboards can be accessed and are still operable once class is concluded. If you'd like, you can export a completed whiteboard to share with the class. Before ending class for the day, why not pull an attendance report? Use the participant icon to navigate to the participant pane. Select the ellipsis at the top of the pane. Choose Download Attendance Report. When downloading is complete, you can access the report by navigating to your Files view and choosing Downloads. Select the attendance report. This report will open in Excel. It will show you when students have entered the virtual classroom space and when they left. We can see this student joined class on time, but left and returned to class before it concluded. 
It is critical to remember, this report must be accessed prior to you ending the class. Once you end the virtual classroom, this information can only be accessed by your IT team. The Assignment Application in Microsoft Teams is a unique tool that allows you to create, distribute, review, grade, and return assignments to students, all from within the Teams environment. When building your assignment, you can create a reusable custom rubric, which you can attach to an assignment. When the assignment is submitted for marking, you can open the attached rubric and use it as a grading tool, selecting the appropriate option and awarding the assigned points value at the click of a button. You can also provide feedback on each area from within the rubric. If you have a touchscreen device or an electronic pen installed, you can open the student's assignment and make handwritten notes on the assignment itself. This is a great way to target your feedback for the student. The Assignment section of Microsoft Teams also allows you to create quizzes using the Forms application embedded into the Teams environment. As a time-saving tool, you can build your quiz questions to include auto-grading questions. Multiple choice, short answer text, and ranking questions allow you to input the correct answer when building the quiz for your students. When the student submits their completed quiz, all the auto-grading questions will be marked on your behalf, allotting all possible points for a correct answer and zero points for an incorrect answer. As the teacher, you can review the results and award half marks if needed before returning the quiz to the student. Microsoft Teams for Education was designed to empower both you, the teacher, and your students in this dynamic virtual classroom space. This exciting application has so many amazing features and tools to help you earn time back, support your students, and work more effectively in your new classroom space. As Microsoft continues to provide us with new and innovative solutions which makes working together in this new virtual world better and easier, we will continue to highlight these amazing applications for you. So don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. At Competitive Computing Consultants, Inc., we did not get there alone, and neither should you.